Hi, good morning class. How are you? So welcome to my next lecture of managerial economics. It is lecture 15 of unit 5. In this lecture, we are going to have a session of inflation and business cycle. So what are the causes of inflation? What is the meaning of inflation? And what is business cycle? What are the phases of business cycle? How that the phases of business cycle can be controlled. So that is all about. We are going to have a brief discussion of that in this session. So <clears throat> the first topic that we are going to have is inflation. That what is inflation? Inflation means increase in the value of money. If in layman language, we are going to talk about uh, inflation, that what is inflation? So inflation is increase in the value of money. So that means once the price level increases, then what is the impact of that increase in of price level? Will that increase a value to the money or not? Suppose if a person is earning a salary of rupees 50,000 per month and his Friend asked him to give him 35,000. So, Jo and San, 50,000 rupees earn kar raha hai. Agar achana koi usse 50,000 rupees mangega, to some way or the other he feels a bit difficult. Why? Because he is earning a limited amount of money and how he can give a fixed amount of rupees 35,000 to the other person because he is only earning a sum of rupees 50,000. So, wo 35,000 rupees dene ke baare mein sochega. But all of a sudden, if the same person is earning a salary of rupees 3 lakh or 4 lakh and the other person is asking for the same amount, so he can give that amount without any prior consideration. Why? Because his income has increased. So, पैंतीस हजार रुपए देना उसकी वैल्यू उस मोमेंट पे उस इंसान के लिए क्या थी? So that is known as the value of money. If the person is earning fifty thousand per month, what value he is having for thirty five thousand? If he is earning a salary of rupees three lakh or four lakh, what the value of money he is having for rupees 35,000. So that is known as value of in money. So inflation kya batata hai? Increase in the price level. Or price level jab increase hota hai, to value of money pe kya asar padta hai? That we are going to discuss with the concept of inflation. Inflation is defined as a sustained increase in the price level or fall in the value of money. When the level of currency of a country exceeds the level of production, inflation occurs. Value of money depreciates with the occurrence of inflation. Once there is inflation, then the value of money starts depreciating. Why? Because there is an a fall in the value of money due to the sustained increase in the price level. So, when the price level increases, money ki value may come to the value depreciate hota hai money ki value, to wo hota hai inflation. That means there is an occurrence of inflation in the country when the value of money starts depreciating due to inflation. The increase in the amount of money necessary to obtain the same amount of product or service before the inflated price was present. Social phenomena where too much money chases to few goods or services Harmful impact because the purchasing power of the currency changes downward in the value. So this is value that means increase in the value or increase in the price level and how that price level depreciates the value of money. So overall that changes when is 
calculated by the country so that is known as the inflation inflation is commonly understood as a situation of substantial and general increase in the level of prices of goods and services in an economy and a consequent fall in the value of money over a period of time when the general price level rises value of money falls and such as each unit of currency buy fewer goods and services consequently inflation reflects a reduction in the purchasing power per unit of money a chief measure of price inflation is the inflation rate which expresses percentage change in a general price index so what is inflation all about it is a situation of increase in the level of price of goods and services in the economy and a consequent fall in the value of money over a period of time <clears throat> so the rate of inflation can be calculated by pt minus pt minus 1 upon pt minus 1 into 100% where pt and pt minus 1 are the price level at two time period respectively now what are the views of other monetarist monetarists assert that inflation has always been a monetary phenomenon the quantity theory of money is simply stated says that any change in the amount of money in a system will change the price level ki jahan bhi aapke price level mein ya change aayega amount of money mein change aayega to wahan automatically price level mein change aayega because change in price level and change in the amount of money are interrelated with each other this theory begins with the fisher's equation of exchange mv is equals to pt where m represents the total quantity of money v is the velocity of circulation of money that is average number of time each unit of money is spent for the purchase of goods and services during a given period p represents general price level and t refers to the total volume of transactions of final goods and services so this is the formula by different monetarist here mv represents supply of money pt represents demand for money by manipulation b equals to mv over t assuming v and t at given price level varies indirectly in proportion to the quantity of money so if supply of money increases there is inflation or rise in price so when the supply of money start increasing it gives to the rise of a situation of inflation which is known as rise in the price level which depreciates the value of money during a specific period of time now what is the view of keynes inflation occurs when price rises after the stage of full employment is reached in the economy with no corresponding rise in the employment and output if we talked about full employment then full employment is an imaginary situation which is not possible in today's era so according to keynes he says when the price rises after the stage of full employment is reached in an economy with no corresponding rise in employment and output कि जहाँ आपका प्राइस लेवल तो इंक्रीज हुआ है लेकिन उसके कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस में आपका एम्प्लॉयमेंट और आउटपुट में कोई भी फर्क नहीं हुआ है सो दैट इज नोन एज इन्फ्लेशन इन दर्ड ऑफ किंग्स ग्रेटर इंक्रीज इन द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी और क्रेडिट दैन इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज रिजल्टिंग इन हायर prices and a fall in the purchasing power of money so when there is a increase in the price level automatically the purchasing power of money get reduced 
that means the supply of money also get reduced so what are the causes of inflation primary causes when demand for a commodity in the market exceeds its supply that means when the supply of commodity is less and the demand of a commodity is more it gives to the rise of a situation known as inflation and this type of inflation which takes place due to exceeds in supply it is known as demand pull inflation jahan supply kam hoti hai aur demand zyada hoti hai to wo inflation aapka kehlata hai demand pull inflation when factor prices rise cost of production rise factors prices means those amount which is invested in the factors of production like land labor machine to on cheezon ka price agar badhta hai to automatically there is a increase in cost of production as well so that is known as cost push inflation the inflation which occurs due to increase in the cost of production is known as the cost push inflation now we are going to have a detailed discussion about this inflation now demand pull and cost push black money disposable income dns allowance and rbi's monetary policy these are the causes of inflation of demand pull where supply exceeds than demand cost push which increase the cost of production due to increase in wages taxes raw material and profit margin so these are some of the causes which takes place in the occurrence of demand pull and cost push inflation demand pull inflation is inflation initiated by increase in aggregate demand and cost push or supply side inflation is inflation caused by increase in cost increase in cost se agar aapka inflation hai to that is cost push inflation or supply exceed hoti hai demand supply kam hoti hai aur demand zyada hoti hai to wo inflation kehlata hai aapka demand pull inflation various causes that may bring about inflation first is increase in public spending government spending is an important part of total spending in any modern economy it is an important determinant of aggregate demand in less developed economies government expenditure has shown an upward trend this has created inflationary gap pressure on the economy that means increase in public spending ki public ko satisfy karne ke liye if the government is going to spend a hell lot of money on satisfying the need on public spending in the form of public spending so that is also the cause of inflation second is deficit financing of government spending government spending increases beyond where what can be financed by taxation in order to be able to incur the extra expenditure the government resorts to deficit financing for instance it prints money and spend it this ends to the pressure of inflation so deficit financing can also be the cause of bringing inflation in an economy increase velocity of circulation of money that means the particular uh, increase in this circulation of money if got increase within the economy it also becomes the cause of giving rise to the problem of inflation total use of money equals to money supply by the government into velocity of circulation in boom phase people spend money at a faster rate the velocity of circulation of money is increases that means these are the three various causes which gives to the rise of a problem known as inflation population growth if the population of the country is increasing 
uh, day by day, it also becomes the cause of inflation. Hoarding excess demand is sometimes artificially created by holders. The stockpile commodities, they do not release them to, to the market. This leads to excess demand and inflation. When the sellers are used uh, a concept of hoarding the commodity and not making a regular supply in the market, it also gives to the rise of inflation. Genuine shortage. If the factors of production are in short supply, production will be affected. Supply will be less than demand prices will increase. Exports. If the total output of a commodity is not sufficient to meet both domestic and foreign demand, then export will create inflation in the domestic economy. Trade unions. By demanding an increase in the wage rate, they increase the cost of production. So these are some of the causes which gives to the rise to the problem of inflation in the economy. Tax reduction. Government sometimes reduces tax to gain popularity. This leaves more money in people's hand. This leads to inflation if there is no corresponding increase in production. So tax reduction in the rates of taxes can also become the cause of inflation imposition of indirect taxes government may imposes indirect tax such as excise duty value added tax etc then producers or sellers raise the product prices to keep their profit unchanged if the government has imposes indirect taxes then just to be in their profit margin the producers or sellers are going to increase the prices of their products just to keep themselves in the race of profit margin. Price rise in international market. The imported price of some commodities or factors of production may rise in the world market. It would lead to inflation in the domestic market. Non-economic reasons, for instance, of time of natural calamities, crops are destroyed, reducing the supply of agricultural products prices of these commodities tend to increase as you can hear non-economic reason you can uh, discuss the example of onion during the prices of onions during lockdown becomes very high it goes up to 120 to 140 kg next is business cycle or trade cycle so inflation we have completed now we will take the second topic of this session that is business cycle. The business cycle is upward and downward of economic activity going one after the another in a cyclical way. It is associated with sweeping fluctuations in economic activities such as production, prices, income, employment, exports, imports, etc. So that means the upward and downward moving trend of the various business transactions in the form of economic activities takes place so that upward and downward changes can be reflected or can be represented diagrammatically with the help of business cycle. A business cycle is composed of a period of good trade characterized by rising prices and low unemployment percentage alternating with a period of bad trade characterized by falling prices and high employment percentage. So this is the definition which is given by Keynes. Now what are the features of business cycle? It occurs periodically. Periodically means kisi bhi businessmen ke liye business mein situation ek se nahi hoti hai. It keeps on changing from time to time. Then those variations in the business of that particular person can be represented diagrammatically in the form of business cycle. It occurs periodically. It all it is all embracing that means affects all industry in the entire economy 
it is wave like it will have a set pattern of movements with uh, analogous to waves the process is cumulative and self reinforcing the upward and downward movement are cumulative in their process the cycles will be similar but not identical different cycles and waves in the business cycle will be similar but not identical so these are the features of period of business cycle now phases of business cycle now what are the phases which takes place for a businessman in his lifetime ek agar koi bhi kisi bhi commodity ke business mein deal kar raha hai to uski business mein ye phases aati hain uski business cycle mein that is prosperity recession recovery and depression so these are the phases of business cycle which takes place periodically in every business which takes place in the economy so the first phase is prosperity prosperity kya hota hai ki jab aapko name fame ek sath milta hai that means you are growing you are growing in the upward direction or you are moving in the upward direction so that is known as prosperity prosperity kab aati hai ki jab aap uche uthte ho when you are moving upward so that is the phase of prosperity high level of output in and trade when the business is earning high level of output and doing well in the business high level of effective demand when the demand is also increasing high level of income and employment rising interest rates inflation large expansion of bank credit overall business optimus a high level of marginal efficiency of capital and investment to prosperity mein kya hota hai jab sari cheeze upward direction mein jati hain so that is known as the जब आपकी सारी चीजें जो हैं वो अपवर्ड मूविंग ट्रेंड में जाती हैं कि ऊपर की तरफ जाती हैं दैट मींस यू आर एट द एज ऑफ प्रोस्पेरिटी तो वो आपका कहलाता है प्रोस्पेरिटी फेज कि जब कोई भी बिजनेसमैन का जो बिजनेस होता है वो एक ग्रोइंग स्टेज में होता है वो एक प्रॉफिट अर्निंग स्टेज में होता है तो वो फेज उस बिजनेस के लिए क्या कहलाती है प्रोस्पेरिटी where everything is at peak or where everything is at high level to wo aapka kehlata hai prosperity phase recession phase during a recession period the economic activity is slow down this is a steady decline in output income employment profit and prices तो अभी इससे पहले हमने बात की थी प्रोस्पेरिटी फेल्स की जिसमें एवरीथिंग इज इंक्रीजिंग वेल एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग वेल सो दैट इज नोन एज दी स्टेज ऑफ प्रोस्पेरिटी सेकंड इज द रिसेशन सॉरी सेशन रिसेशन फेज रिसेशन फेज की जहां पर आपका इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी में स्लो डाउन आ जाएगा देयर इज अ स्लो डाउन इन द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी कौन कौन सी हो गई द डिक्लाइन इन द लेवल ऑफ आउटपुट इनकम एम्प्लॉयमेंट प्राइस प्रॉफिट जब ये सारी चीजें आपकी नीचे की तरफ होती हैं या डिक्लाइनिंग स्टेज पे होती हैं तो वो आपकी स्टेज कहलाती है रिसेशन फेस द बिजनेस मैन लूज कॉन्फिडेंस एंड बिकम पेसिमिस्टिक इस स्टेज में जो बिजनेस मैन का कॉन्फिडेंस है इट स्टार्ट रिफ्लेक्टिंग it reduces investment jab recession phase hai to people are not in a mood to invest with because in investing there is a chance of risk so people are not in a mood to take risk in the recession phase third phase is depression as a name indicates depression fall in the volume of output and trade fall in income and rise in unemployment decline in consumption and demand fall in interest rate deflation contraction of bank credit overall business pessimism fall in marginal efficiency of capital and investment 
जब सारी चीजें एक साथ गिरने लगती हैं व्हेन एवरी इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज मूव्स टुवर्ड अ डाउनवर्ड ट्रेंड देन दैट फेस इज नोन एज अ डिप्रेशन फेस रिकवरी फेस ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ रिवाइवल और रिकवरी देयर आर एक्सपेंशंस एंड राइज इन द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज की कुछ बिजनेसमैन ऐसे होते हैं कि जो कैसे ना कैसे ही अपने बिजनेस को डिप्रेशन स्टेज से रिकवरी स्टेज से लाते हैं और फिर रिकवरी स्टेज से इट अगेन स्टार्ट मूविंग इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो दैट इज नोन एज अ रिकवरी फेज कि जहां पर आप अपने बिजनेस को कुछ इम्प्रूवमेंट देते हो एंड ड्यू टू दैट इम्प्रूवमेंट इट अगेन स्टार्ट रिकवरिंग एंड मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द अपवर्ड ट्रेंड सो दैट इज नोन एज अ रिकवरी face when demand start rising production increases and this causes an increase in investment there is a steady rise in output income employment prices and profits the businessmen gain confidence and become optimistic this increases investment that means these all things known as a recovery phase ki जब बिजनेस डिप्रेशन में गया तो डिप्रेशन में जाने के बाद आपने अपने बिजनेस को रिकवर करने के लिए कुछ नई टेक्नोलॉजी यूज की कुछ नए रिसोर्सेस हायर किए कुछ नए फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन यूज किए एंड आफ्टर दैट यू आर इन द रिकवरी स्टेज और रिकवरी से फिर आप यू आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द अपवर्ड मूविंग ट्रेंड सो दैट इज नोन एज अ रिकवरी फेस वे आर यू गिव a second chance to your business that how to by making certain improvements how you can take your business at the same height so this is all about for this session now we will meet in the next session of the managerial economics till then stay safe and be happy and start revising be in a habit of revision thank you class